Okay, so let's get started with Docker Swarm. In Docker Swarm, we basically have multiple servers that can communicate with each other. And all of them have Docker installed and all of them have some Docker containers running on them. Some of the servers called the server managers, they can decide where the load needs to be. For example, this server down here doesn't have that many containers running on it. So maybe this one is a manager and it says, hey, why don't you run one more container? And there's actually a pretty nice app that visualizes this. It's called Docker Swarm Visualizer. It's from the Docker samples. And you can see here, here we have four machines. Each of them has some containers. Those containers here on this machine four are down, marked by the red dot. Those two machines here are running the BusyBox containers. Those machines here are running the RabbitMQ containers. Why do we need this? Well, we saw this. It's very nice for scalability. Um, like I can just add a new machine here and add more containers. That's very nice. And it also adds a lot of fault tolerance. So we see here all containers on this machine are broke, maybe not enough memory or whatever, but our service is still available because we have this busy box still hosted here. So we need the Swarm for an easy way of scalability of our containers uh, to add fault tolerance to our system and also because it helps you to automatically deploy all your containers. So you don't have to go by hand and set like two containers on one machine and two on another so you get a fault tolerance system. Docker Swarm does all that for you. It's an automation tool. It's a tool for orchestrating your containers. And now what's Docker Stack? This comes often in combination with Docker Swarm. Docker Stack is actually just a list of services. So Stack is basically just a list of services. For, for example, if we have those services here, let's say we have the traffic service and we have the visualizer service and we have the animal service, then all of the service combined are a stack. Okay, then let's get started with Docker Swarm. We can initialize the swarm with the command docker swarm in it. And then you see that this machine is now a manager, which means it can manage the swarm. It can tell other workers of the swarm that they should have more load or less load. Basically, when you initialize the swarm, it becomes a manager. Other machines can join the swarm with this command, but now we're just gonna use one instance, which will not make sense in a production environment because you don't get the scalability and stability with this, but it's enough for demonstration purposes. So I have arranged two services here, the hello service and the goodbye service. Let's have a look at the hello service. We have our Docker file, our hello world.js and our package JSON. Our hello world.js is again the simple express application that just sends a response of hello world. And the package JSON, it just runs this hello world.js. So let's try if this works. Okay, it works. And it also works with npm start. And let's have a quick look at the Docker file. This Docker file pulls node, changes work directory, copies the package JSON and the package log JSON into the Docker container, runs npm install, copies hello world, and then starts the container. So quite a simple Docker file. Now the goodbye service is basically identical. The only difference is one word here. Uh, it's the goodbye. It says goodbye world. And you can see it's the same port. It's also running on port 3000. So not even this has changed. Um, the next and only remaining part that we have is the Docker Compose. And this now looks like this. Well, it's version three. Uh, of the Docker Compose API. Then I have my, listed my services here. And as explained, all of the services combined make up the stack. I have the hello service, pulls from the image hello, 
and it deploys three replicas. Then it also maps the ports 3000 to 3000. And I have the goodbye service. This pulls from the image goodbye. It should make two replicas. It has a different port. It maps external or the host port 3001 to 3000. A last service that I have is the visualizer. It's the visualizer we've already seen. It pulls from Docker samples. It must run on a manager. Now here this isn't critical because we only have a manager, but when you deploy it on a swarm that also has worker instances, it's critical that you deploy it on a node that is a manager. It natively runs on port 8080 and we, we also want to have it on 8080, 8080 on the machine. And we need to map this volume so that this Docker, Docker samples visualizer can work. Let's try to build these images because that this Docker compose file works. We need to have those images in place. Uh, let's see. I have written that down here. I can build the hello image. And here I'm referencing the file where the, the Docker file is. And the last argument here is the build context. So let's build it. And since I have already built it once before, it's fast. Also the goodbye has built quite fast and now we are actually ready to deploy our stack. And also this command I have in the readme. I am calling my stack talk because it says hello and it says goodbye. So we can actually try to deploy this stack. And you can see it creates um, a network and it creates the services. And all of those services are should be running now or starting now. And I can see this with the command docker service ls. And you see here, it's already up and running. At least the talk goodbye is replicated two times and the talk hello is replicated three times. We can see this in the docker compose YAML. So we want three replicas of the hello and we want two replicas of the goodbye. Now we should be able to check whether this is running and we can do this by checking the local host and we had it at port 3000, the hello world and at 301, the goodbye world. Everything is working as expected. And uh, what else? Let's check out the visualizer that we have started. Let's see if it's running now. Okay, now this one's also up and running. Let's check it. Okay, I'm now at localhost 8080 and we see we have our visualization running. We have one container here, hello, another hello and a third hello as specified. They're all green, all running. We have two instances of the goodbye and we have the visualizer service running with one container. So all up and running. Thanks for watching. The code is in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day.